our people are blind. And even in our own nation, we have many who cannot see. And today, I just want to talk to you, man to man. This is a bitter, sweet message. I'm overjoyed and like a son of sorrow, all at the same time. Now, in the Quran, in the Hadiths, it speaks in metaphors. It speaks in metonymy. Now, that is the substitution of the name of an attribute or an adjunct, okay? For that of the thing meant, for example, suit for business, executive, or the track for horse racing. So, all throughout the Hadiths, this is what we want to focus on. It speaks in this language. It also speaks in synecdoche. It also speaks in similes. It also speaks in proverbs. It speaks in figurative language. You see, the Quran, the Hadiths, all have this special code. And I am here to decode the Bible, the Quran, and the Hadiths. Now, many of you still do not know who I am. And I had to learn who I was. And I'm going to enlighten you on a special character. This man is Bilal. I hope I'm saying that right because a lot of our Arabian brothers, they get a little irritated when things are not pronounced right. And we all do. We all like things pronounced right. So please be patient with me. This man, Bilal, okay, the prophet Muhammad chose Bilal to give the call to prayer or Adan because of his strong conviction and clear voice. Bilal's voice was so high-pitched and mesmerizing that people would run to the mosque to pray after hearing him. Now, this man's name is Bilal. I've been Rabbah, okay? In his name, you can spell Arab. Now, many of our Muslim brothers are asleep. Many of our Islamic scholars are asleep. They fail to realize that Bilal was a picture of the Mahdi. Some people pronounce it that way, but I know Arabics, they pronounce it Mahdi. Okay, I like saying Mahdi. Either way it go. This is a just ruler. He's a man of justice that is prophesied to come in the nation of Islam. And many people are going to be shocked. Who is the Al Mahdi? Now, my middle name is Lamonti. My dad's name is Monty. Let me tell you a story real quick. When my mama died, I still didn't know. I still couldn't see that I was the Mahdi or the Mahdi. When my dad died, his name was Monty. When Monty died, I still didn't know I was the Mahdi. My cousin MC, he died. I still didn't catch it. I wasn't even in Islam at the time. I still didn't catch it. When my best friend, Buddy Mac, died, I still did not catch it. When my kid's mama died, I still did not wake up to know who I was. When my other mama died, I still didn't wake up. All these people dying. My little sister, Margaret, died. Still didn't catch it. Still didn't catch it. My whole life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, 
was giving me signs and showing me that I am the al Madi. Oh, I know this is going to be a shock. A lot of my brothers is going to be in their feelings. Some of them already are. Some of them already are. And I'm holding you accountable. I'm holding you accountable. Now, my whole life, I've been the Madi this whole time. My sermons, all is about justice for the prophet Isa. And identifying the wolf in sheep clothing. And that is Paul. Many people know that Paul is a false apostle. I'm not the first person to tell you all about this. No. But I am the first person to go into detail. If you watch my videos, most of my videos is going into the types and shadows of how Paul is responsible for the death of the prophet Isa. And he is the reason why the prophet Isa, peace be upon him, has to die at the last day. My name is Dai. Daiquant. D-Y-Q-U-A-N-T. I am a descendant of Abraham. Of the family of Fatima because that's a metaphor. That's going into abstain. Yes, I don't do drugs, don't get high, not a TV head, don't eat pork. My life has been abstained. There's so much in the Hadiths regarding the Madi that many people focus on when it says of my stock. That's going into how this prophet, this messenger, this imam, however you would put it, will be in the same mantle as the Prophet Muhammad. Many of our Islamic brothers don't have a clue and they're scholars. OK, they don't have a clue as into who, what or who the Mahdi or, or the Mahdi is. He's like an Adam. OK, God taught Adam all the names and being the Mahdi. I go into names. I go into the gospel. God taught me the gospel. God teaches me the Quran. God teaches me the Hadiths. That's why everything I bring out is on another level. I am the Q. Okay. D-Y-Q-U-A-N-T. Lamanti. Okay. Clay. Clay is all through the scriptures. In Daniel. Lamanti. The mountain. The stone. That would damage Nebuchadnezzar's image. I'm here. It's about time for me to reign. It's about that time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make all my provisions. And one night a nation will be born in a day. Now let's get back to Balao. Balao is going into the man with the Bible. The man who decoded the Bible. Bilal was a picture of the Mahdi. The Muslims will be shocked. And many of them haven't studied the Bible enough to even know that the Mahdi will be black. Let me quit scaring y'all with that. <laughs> that he will be black. He will be black. Okay, just like the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Now, this is good news for my nation. You know, the prophet Muhammad hasn't forgot about us. He hasn't. And don't run because I have more scripture. I have more scripture. I am the teacher. I am here to teach. I'm going to preach the unadulterated gospel. I'm going to teach. I'm going to preach the unadulterated truth. Now, let's go to Song of Solomon. Yeah. Chapter 1, Song of Solomon, Chapter 5, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. His name is mentioned by name in verse 16. But if you go to Song of Solomon, Chapter 1, it's talking about 
the Mahdi. Is that how you pronounce it, my brother? Mahdi. Okay. Watch this. Verse 5. I am black, but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kadar, as the curtains of Solomon. The curtains of Solomon is going into the certain man in 1 Kings 22, 34 on the people logo. Look, the man who spotted the wolf in sheep clothing, the man who damaged Ahab's church in between the joints and the harness. Just like the movie. There's many movies. You got to watch Denzel. All the Denzel characters where he's playing a masculine role. Okay. The Django's. All that is a picture of the Mahdi. Malcolm X was a picture of the Mahdi. Okay. He was a picture of the Mahdi. The Mahdi is black. Okay. Now watch this. I am black but calmly. O ye daughters of Jerusalem. As the tents of Kadar. Why? Because a black man is the ruler of the Arabs. Just like you can spell Arab in Bilal's last name. Bilal was a picture of the Mahdi. Where is our Islamic scholars? Where is our brothers? What's up? What y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Now let's keep going. Verse 6. Look not upon me because I'm black. Oh, that's the problem. You see, being black is a problem, especially when you are the Mahdi. Watch this. Because the sun have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me. That is going into the Arabs. That is going into the children of Hagar. They mad at me. Why? They made me the keeper of the vineyard. You see, my name Lamonti means lawman or mountains. There is coming and there came a new law man. And it's the Mahdi. He's the man of justice. Okay, the truth is in my sermons. Nobody's teaching this to me. Allah is giving me all this stuff. All the stuff I'm bringing out, Allah is teaching me. He's teaching me the gospels. He's teaching me how to spell. Going back to verse 6. They made me the keeper of the vineyard, but my own vineyard have I not kept. Now, this is a picture of a black man being the ruler over Kadar, being the ruler over the Arabs. Now, I know this hurts. I know this hurts. It was so hard to tell. My brothers for the first time today. I, I told two of them. I told two of them. One of them snapped. <laughs> he snapped. Okay. He wasn't going. He wasn't. And the other brother, you know, he, he was more um, respectful about it. You know, he just, you know, and, and, I, and I'm so grateful for brothers that are like that. And. Yeah, yeah, that's why this stuff right here is so sensitive and it's this message is bittersweet because it's good news for me to know that I am the Mahdi. I wasn't trying to be people who know me. I wasn't trying to be. I didn't even know I was blind. I was blind until like three days ago. I started meditating on it and I started realizing all the signs follow me. Okay, I got special signs for those who are serious about supporting that I can show um, via video and by phone call. Okay, the signs are all over my children, all over my wife. Okay, I have so many infallible proofs that I am the Mahdi. The Mahdi is black. And I'm not shouting loud about it. I'm not crying in the streets about it. I'm just, I'm coming to you man to man. And most people don't even watch this or listen to this because it's a low volume YouTube channel. But this truth is going to get out. And I'm so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, for allowing me to be the Mahdi. There's a whole lot of work to do. There is a whole lot of work to do. 
there's so many pictures of my ministry. Even if you look at Master P, uh, the No Limit Soldier, that's a picture of the Mahdi. That's a picture of the Mahdi. How are you? Let me pronounce it right for y'all. The, the Mahdi. That's a picture of him. The last Don. Okay. The No Limit Soldier. Denzel Washington in the book of Eli. Okay. The man who decoded the Bible. The Balao. Wake up. Wake up, man. Y'all sleep. Man, the prophet Muhammad, he had a huge shock for the Muslims. That's why he went into, he will be of my conduct, but not in my appearance. Okay. I'm in the family of Ali. Ali. Ali is the name. Okay. Just like Muhammad Ali. My last name is Clay. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to allow me to reign. He's going to allow me to rule. There's nothing you can do that can stop it. Okay. It's just going to be a matter of time. Okay. Before this truth get out. Now, Allah knows best. But I believe in the Hadiths. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give me the provisions in one night now i don't want to give you too much i have more in the scriptures but truth before its time is nothing more than error i have stories of balal in the hebrew scriptures okay it is confirmed furthermore in more hadiths but just like a black man was the first man to lead the prayer it's going to be the same thing in the mahdi the mahdi is black the Ma oh I, I didn't say it right. The Mahdi. The Mahdi is black. Okay, Denzel Washington was a picture of him. Django was a picture of him. Malcolm X was a picture of him. Marcus Garvey was a picture of him. Wake up, my brothers. Wake up. I'm telling you, this is going to completely dry up the Christian church. This is going to completely dry up the Israelite movement. Because I am for real. My ministry is verified. Okay. I am truly chosen. My sins are forgiven. Okay. I am called to pray. I am called to pray. For the nation of Islam. And the Lord is going to do some wonderful things with me. Now I'm not rubbing it in your face. But I am telling the truth. There's nothing you can do that can refute it. If you listen to my channels, I am bringing out the truth such as you have never heard. The prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, has been dead for about 1400 years. And no one in the Islamic world, no one in the Christian world has solved the murder of the prophet Isa, that is available to you right now only in the house of David. The house of David is the Mordecai who found out the assassination attempt and they discovered the plot of Haman. There's more in the Bible. I got more uh, confirmations. And for those that are serious that really want to give me a call, you can give me a call at 661-597-23. 76 i will return your call i leave my phone at home that's for the ministry because it's not booming like that this channel right now is still low value many people don't hear about me because i don't have all these social networks but right now i leave the phone at home i will return your call it is 661-597-2376 let's get some support going on I ain't got no business working. I'm supposed to be out there with my people. I'm supposed to be out there tearing down the image of Babylon, which is the Christian church. I'm supposed to be getting this truth out. And it's going to happen with or without your help. It's going to happen with or without your help. Okay, because it is prophesied. That I will lead a crusade and I'm going to share a song with you and I'm going to put it on the end of this message. And I did this song a long, 
ago. It's been prophesied. Now, when I first got out of prison, for some reason, this lady told me in a Christian church, she told me flat out, this is how Allah does me. She told me that it would be prophesied that I would lead a crusade. She told me that. She said I was going to lead a crusade in the middle of a Christian church. She tells me this. Okay. I'm just talking to you calmly. Okay. I'm chill. I'm chill today. Now, my wife can testify to this next one. Me and her went to a Mexican restaurant at random. Years ago, probably in about 2016. This white lady tells me aren't you a singer she don't even know me and at the time i wasn't singing i practically was rapping you know mostly rapping and what happened was this woman said it's gonna blow she said it's gonna blow and she was talking about a ministry she said it is going to blow I met up with her again, and she was still elaborating more and more. And there's other things I don't want to discuss right here and put it out right here on this. But yeah, this has been confirmed. It's been already set in stone, okay? This stuff has already been predicted that I will lead a crew saved, okay? And I'm ready. I am ready to lead this crusade. This woman told me this. Her name was Raquel Harris. She told me this because my dude, we both was locked up. And, you know, he used to just see her at church because we was going to church from the work release center. And so he used to always see her and just be like, man. I want to be with her. You know how it is. And he ended up being with her. He ended up being with her. And that same woman told me that I would lead a crusade. And this song that I sung, uh, Lead a Crusade, I did this before I was even in Islam. I did this song probably in about 2000. 16 for sure 2016 2017 in the quran it tells us that the mountains and the birds sang praises with david and i am lamonti the mountains i'm gonna get my praise on i was created to give the god of heaven praise and my praise is ordained of god my music is ordained of God. I'm singing praises to Allah and Allah only. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been giving me music on this, giving me songs. And we're going to restore and destroy all of the false teachings in Islam. We have a lot of things going on in Islam. And the true religion of Islam must be restored. And I am here to handle that task. We have women wearing hijabs and we have women not wearing hijabs. We have clothing issues. We have mosque issues. We have issues with the hadiths. We becoming more and more like the Christians denominations. And we have to put a stop to that. I am here. I am Al Madi. Lamanti. The mountain. The stone. Okay, there's many precepts that connect with this. And some of y'all might think I'm off my rocker. Okay, but Allah loves me. Allah has guided me. He's been guiding me this whole time. That's what the Mahdi or the Mahdi is. He's the guided one. Did nobody pull me into Islam? I walked right out of an Israelite school. And started studying Islam on my own. With nobody's help. All the messages I'm bringing out. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been giving me these messages. Okay. Now share this truth. Get this truth out there. 
um, let the imams, the real imams, the, the real Arabians that are not um, racist, okay, that has an open mind, you know for a fact that the Quran and the Hadiths all speak in metaphors. It does that because, you know what, it is to guard this truth from Satan, okay? And Allah does that, but he taught me the names, he taught me all the meanings, all of the symbols, and I can prove to you that I am the Mandy with just a phone call, okay? If we was in person, I could really show you some stuff, okay? But I'm here, let's get this truth out. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers in the real truth, okay? And I want to reach out to my brothers in these Israelite schools because uh, Nathaniel is no prophet. There is no prophet over these Israelite schools. But I am here. And I'm here to be the ruler of the Arabs and restore true religion and fill this world with equity and justice, just like it's filled with trash right now. I'm calm, I'm chill, okay? But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to turn me into another man. So remember Bilal. Bilal was a black man. Bilal was a picture of the Mati. He was a picture of the Mati. The Mati will be black, okay? And I got all the proof right here in the house of David. Wow. So, assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. I'm prepared for your comments. I'm prepared for them. Okay. I'm prepared for whatever you bring me. I'm prepared for it. Just know I'm holding you accountable. Okay. Because God is on my side in this last day battle. Time is on my side in this last day battle, in this last day battle. Okay, I got an Arab army and they marching right behind me. Now, I'm going to play this song and let you go. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth. Almighty God, he cannot lie. In the 
ground. Standing firm, standing tall. There go the black and the brown. Standing strong, standing firm. There go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. There go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. There go the black and the brown. They standing tall, they standing firm. There go the black and brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. There go the black and the brown. They standing strong, they standing firm. There go the black and the brown. They standing firm, they standing strong. They go the black and the brown. Now they yellow. Now they yellow. Now they yellow. Madreal.net. Give your audience something to remember. And these knees weak as water. And all these hands is wax people. And all these knees is wax people, man. Woman. And all these hands is wax people, man. Woman. And every 